Hi, this is Ted Lindstrom with Atlas Copco. Today I want to go over a couple different of our quality assurance uh, products and a couple of their use cases. So what we'll primarily be using today is our Atlas Copco SL tool with our PowerFocus 6000 controller. Um, up here on the screen we have a mirror image of the controller of what the operator will see. Uh, some of the quality assurance products that we have is our SRTTB over here. That's a stationary transducer. Uh, this has a, a test joint inside it as well that's either a hard or a soft joint to replicate what you have out on the floor. Today we're using a soft joint. Um, we also have our IRTTB which is an inline transducer that is typically used out on the floor although you can use it with a test joint like this in the calibration lab. Uh, this one is uh, completely mobile. Um, whereas in the stationary transducer, as you can see, it's clamped down to the table. Um, it's usually fixtured in, uh, uh, in the calibration lab or on some type of mobile bench to move it out to the floor. So to get started, we're first going to use the SRTTB with our SL tool. As you can see, we can uh, back out and we'll do our tightening now. So we're getting results not only from the internal transducer of the tool, which is being shown here on the controller. As you can see, that's seven inch pounds. Then on our STA 6000, as we can see here, this is the display off the external transducer, which would be, in this case, the SRTTB. So we're comparing the two different transducer readings, the one from the tool and the one from the SRTTB here. So we have a torque result on the STA 6000 of uh, just under 6.4 inch pounds. So the process that usually happens is once it uh, passes through your internal calibration uh, verification test, the tool would then be used out on the floor. So what we're gonna do here is use these uh, test joints to replicate what would be done on the floor. So we use this bit here, we'll get it started, we'll back it out, and then we'll do our rundown. So as we can see, um, on this joint here, we had 7.02 inch pounds, which is great. Um, our target is seven. So what we do typically do next is then we want to verify that after a day, a week, a month, or, or even more, we want to do somewhat what you call it spot checks on the floor. So we would have someone from calibration or engineering actually walk the floor with something like this would be our inline uh, transducer IRTTB. This is connected with a Bluetooth IRC connect, we call it, um, to the transducer. And instead of going to the STA6000, we're actually connected over here to our ST pad, which is one of our uh, newest products to the quality family. So what we would do is we would ask the operator, put that down, to simply just take out the bit that they're using or the socket. We'll add that to our inline transducer and then add the transducer to the tool. So we can do all of this in just a few seconds out on the floor and we can, and now we'll do our rundowns. So you can actually see the results there on the ST pad um, are coming in, but now we're gonna do some final torque. So this is what the operator will be doing on the floor. We can see we got seven inch pounds on our uh, controller screen from the internal transducer of the tool. And then we'll come to our ST pad. Results are still loading in. And we got our latest there, 7.04 from our external transducer. So this is just a really quick overview of some of the different QA products. Typically the SRTTB is used for uh, lab trials um, and calibration that's stationary and fixed in a particular room, if you will, of the factory. Whereas in the IRTTBs, being so mobile and using them directly on the product that's being assembled, you can truly get exactly what the uh, what the joint stiffness is of that product and all the joint uh, characteristics 
within your actual products. So really quick overview of our QA products. Um, any more questions that you have, feel free to ask. Thank